that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. think if they wanted trouble we wouldn't have seen them poor bastards we really screwed them over down here come on let's not push our luck what happened well get in I'll tell you too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them. It was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. 
And how's that different from anywhere else? Come on, we're falling behind. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. Spider Duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. It's not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Not this way. I showed you on the map, didn't I? for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, then.
So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. 
Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Morning. Well, I'll leave this here then. In the dirt. For those other O'Driscolls left in my husband. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Have a seat. Everything okay, Arthur? Pearson! I'm famished!
Forgive me, Tilly. You're a bit close there, Arthur. Are you trying to be funny? Me Tilly. How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson? Believe me, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, y you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Is anybody getting me some? Hey, Arthur. Morning, Arthur.
Morning, Arthur. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Appreciate it, Pearson. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Is our food going to be ready soon? Morning, Arthur. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. Oh. 
that is what I like to see. We need to hunt for some better meat.
You all right there? I think so. Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, yeah. Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here and take a left. I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave him. <laughs> Easy. Easy. You're okay. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just this way. trying to impress the Come woman. On. <laughs> Easy there. Well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
turn it into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old blizzard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, please. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse old blizzard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> 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 or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow so... on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac Woo! does. Smell those <laughs> sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. Okay, just stay out of this trouble. This looks like Don't a decent little town. Noise. Other right, people. I need to get something from the store. Look at all that Okay, well, we'll see you at the general mountains. store when you're done. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly no. to come with us? Oh, so no. that's how you see Mr. yourself, is, is it? Too high and Maniac. Now for the likes of well, us. in my do youth, any real I used work. to be known as the... Jesus, a society lady now. <laughs> Go okay. left here, down the main street. I'm not going to ask why. All right. Sure, you, you pick up some bad man, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. That's yeah, Mom, that's a young man's game. You're my favorite parasite. Ooh, yes. We no. can get up to some mischief Ray here, all right. Yes, You're my second favorite parasite. parasite. Keep a low profile. Very funny. Will you remember right. that, though, Arthur? Bring one. Probably not. Then, Let's park up down the, the end plague. there. Near the stable. Then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, all right. What do you need? Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. Time while we're waiting on the wind. It's fine. Always thinking ahead. What are we doing? You know we're going to do any self-respect maniac. Why don't you pick up with the women to work? With pleasure. Let me know if you have any questions. Start the saloon. Whiskey's on the table. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right. I need to get something from the stores. Okay. Well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. You're not getting anything, So that's how you see yourself, uh, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I so, know you love me. You're actually buying Desperate for once? You feel no You're right? my favorite parasite. Young folk got no. no respect for their elders. Ring no more. my favorite parasite. Well, You're my second well, favorite well, parasite. Well, Very funny. Well, I lied. Ring worm. The then the rats with the plague. The then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. 
So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Look at this. A job. Oh, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. I got a lot to Always replenish after that ahead, god awful you? time in the mountains. You're looking a bit All tired done. there, Thank you kindly. Why don't you pick ah, up some coffee while we're here? This trick. Full yep. stock list in the catalog fine. here on the counter. Okay, Whiskey's if you're on done, I'll meet you Here's outside. I won't be too long. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellas. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellas. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off oh, her. Here's you your good health, sir. Hey. <laughs> and to being down hey, here off that easy. mountain. Absolutely. There's no problem here. There will it's be funny if you world. don't get out of here right now. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I think I got something good. I ain't what? doing this what? with you right now. I snuck into this fancy house. Oh, wait, Uncle Mary Acted Beth. like a They're servant girl. Street. Usually works. Okay. Someone was saying Thanks, her sister Arthur. was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists Arthur. heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. I'm okay. gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Train with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get Can to I the docks in time for the tides, in some place called Scarlet Meadows. I, I yeah, I know it. 
Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new handle. Right, it's real quiet. No trouble now, please. Sounds good. We're still in camp. I can get the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Get the hell out of here, will you? Seemed easy. Sorry. Wrong room. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I pay. They pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! I've been looking too Who's talking now? Huh? I got you now. What the hell are you doing? Uh, uh, trying to play him? <laughs> Not very well. You okay? Get your hands off mm, her, friend. friend. You sure? Who are you? A friend yeah. of mine. Get off Nothing. Her. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But... Or what stupid exactly? Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about out. the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but You're making this is a livestock a town. Mistake, Lots of cash sometimes. Just get lost. Okay. I ain't doing Keep this. Keep investigating. Go away Uncle oh, well. Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Everything's okay up there? You looking for a room? After you. <laughs> Use your strength to help the Thank weak. you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. Sir? You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. A bathroom? Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, no buddy, trouble, come here for me. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Just Wrong room. Stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Nothing to worry about, just men. But stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks. Well, that's about me. Time, no, no. This is a livestock town. I, I, I got it wrong. It's hard cash I got it very wrong. Now please okay. help me out. Keep investigating. I ain't never been oh, well. in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I'm begging I you. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. All right, come on. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much you like okay, being safe, but when I have to be. No. Oh. You okay? No, sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, miss. that guy over there well, looking at us. You ain't Weren't dead. you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Yeah, is that? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely right. saw you with a bunch of fellas. I think it's me? best for both no. of us. Impossibly pretend this Listen. never happened. Buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Well, come I here. Come on, get. You saved my life. I don't like this. You're a good man, and I uh, Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Pen? Be careful, Arthur. Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, oh, me feel ready. Give more. But I'm not a good man. Just born. Jimmy Brooks. I usually. 
You see? Get back here right order. now! I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you? In the Brooks? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. Think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. <laughs>